Hi. With this movie we will show you how to set up a single user security provider and how to validate the user using a custom login form. First, let's create a server action and add a name for it. Then, right-click steps and select Add Security Provider. Add a name for your security provider. Open the type dropdown and select Single. Add a secret key, which will be used for your cookie encryption. This can be any random string. Then, click the Provider Options button. Enter the login and password for your website. Click the OK button when you are done. Then, click the Link to File button for your security provider step. A confirmation pop-up appears. Select Yes in order to create and link your security provider file. Then, right-click the security provider step and select Add Security Validate. Then, select your security provider from the drop-down. Do not forget to save your server action. We are done setting up the site's security provider. Now, let's set up the login functionality. Open the site menu. And under DMX Zone Security Provider, select Manage Page Security Provider Executor. There are two login options available here. A Bootstrap 3 modal dialog, which requires Bootstrap 3 inserted on your page, and custom login form. We already created our custom login form, so we select this option. First, select your server action containing the security provider. Then, select your custom login form, username, password, and remember me fields. Click the OK button when you are done. You can find your page security provider executor in the HTML5 data bindings panel. You can edit it from here. Let's add a redirect when the user logs in successfully. Click the behaviors button. Select the unlog in event. And then select the go to URL behavior. Add the behavior and set it up. Select the page where the user should be redirected when he logs in. And click the OK button. Click OK in order to apply the behavior. And close the security provider executor window. That's how easy it is to create a security provider, validate the users, and redirect them when they log in successfully.